really quickly, thank you guys to everybody who participated in the last shout out. And that one was, all you have to do is take a screenshot of the notification that you got from my video and tag me on Instagram and you can get a shout out in the beginning of my videos. Easy peasy. So if you want a shout out in my next video, just make sure that you check out the pinned comment and leave your notifications on because I will be giving surprise shout outs to the first five comments. So shout out to the first five comments and don't forget to put on your post notifications. My girl, you're sweet like pineapple, you're sweet like tangerine And I have the sweetest piece of wine here for you Hi guys, it's Naya. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be um, showing you guys how I did this install on Reshine Hair. It is a 13 by 6, 26 inches and a water wave wig. So look at, like, I mean, I didn't use any glue, you guys. I didn't bleach the knots either. I'm so excited. Okay, so if you guys want to see how I did this hair, then just keep on watching. Before we keep going, don't, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. So, you guys, this is the box, and I'm just going to show you guys what comes inside of it. So, first, we have a wig cap. Of course, it comes with two. The lashes that it comes with, as well as the hair, I got a Mongolian Water Wave in 26 inches. It is a 13 by 4, and this is the frontal. It is medium to light brown lace, and the, the knots aren't bleached. you just want to take any makeup that matches your skin color or is close to it this is what I'm going to be using and at first I'm going to put it all over my wig cap because I do have a light one and I'm going to put it inside of the wig as well so next I'm going to pluck the hair and if you guys want a, a better detailed tutorial on that I do have a video already up on my channel but I'm just going to pluck it and I'm this is the before and after so this is it when it's plucked and again if you guys want a detailed tutorial there are two videos on my channel and this is how it looks before so what I am going to do now is just finish finish up um, plucking the lace So now I'm just spraying the hair with my water bottle. I like to do this with curly hair because sometimes um, when I get curly hair and I don't wet it, it's hard to see the curls. So this kind of brings the curls out, the real curls, not them factory curls, you know the real curls. And what I'm going to do is take a wide tooth comb and just comb through them. Next, I'm going to take the bottom of my rat tail comb and pull out anything that I want to be baby hairs and push everything back and I'm going to tie the hair up and I'm going to do the same thing for both sides. I really want my baby hairs out of the way um, before I glue slash put my, my lace down. So you guys, to put my wig down, I started using mousse and got to be freeze blasting spray. So I like to pull my baby hairs forward and um, I like to put the mousse down um, like right behind it basically. But just keep in mind that I haven't cut the lace yet. The lace is still there. Um, sometimes I cut it, sometimes I don't. In this instance, I decided not to. But if you do want to cut the lace, then you still can. So now I'm going to take my spray and just spray while I'm going, I was trying to go behind the baby hairs, but just as long as you spray um, on the part of the lace that you want, that you're not going to cut, then you're fine. And I'm just going to tie that two times and I'm going to come back in about five minutes or when I feel like it's dry, take it off and this is how it looks. So 
now I'm just taking away um, a big chunk of the lace just to get that out of the way on both sides. And next I'm going to pull these stray hairs back and cut the rest of the lace. You want to be really careful not to cut um, the baby hair. So what I'm going to do is use a clip to um, just keep it back. So if you cut the lace beforehand, then this step would not be for you. off all of the excess lace I'm going to tie my hair back to get it out of the way I'm gonna go in with my got to be and my uh, edge brush and I'm just going to do my baby hairs um, cut as need be and style as desired got to be kind of made the glue kind of made the lace lift up a little bit so I'm just going to go back in tie it again leave it on until it dries and take it off once more because it did get a little bit puffy and I'm going to spray um not again not until the hair is soaked but just until it's tamed a little bit I don't want it to look frizzy so to help with that I am going to go back in with some mousse and water and then oh oops <laughs> and yeah just some mousse and some water right now beautiful bronze um, for my LA girls pro conceal I'm just going to put that in the middle part and then we will be finished so I'm going to put this in the middle part because the middle part kind of disappeared a little bit so this kind of shows it if that makes sense
you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You are the captain. Sail away. Watch my hands on your waist and I'm trying to navigate.